Tell me a little bit about yourself. Hello, I am Shauna Kirkland. I am an aerospace engineer. I've been an engineer for about 16 years. 16 years! In the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I am married um, to Andre Kirkland. He's the pastor of United Baptist Church in Chicago, Illinois. And I have two young boys. One is four years old. And he plays t-ball, and I have a one-year-old. Isn't that cool? She has a four-year-old. How old are you? Four. <laughs> Y'all are the same age. Where do you go to full school for engineering? There you go. I went to Tuskegee University in Alabama. Tuskegee. Oh, George, I did not know that. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> was your soul like my soul? It was a little bit different. When I was in school, we were inside classrooms because we didn't have the threat of everyone getting sick. You're in a classroom? Mommy, well. what's your school like? Oh. It's a little bit different also. We do a lot of fun activities and I teach on Fridays. Okay. It's not just mom teaching. It's just me also. <laughs> it's just okay. It's, just, it's a okay. little bit different and we always do crafts in my class. So, what kind of crafts? Oh, we build things. It's not of the things you want to do. <laughs> it's for one to four. <laughs> it's crafts for four year olds, is what you're saying. So, yeah. what kinds of crafts, though, that you do? Don't give her an example of a craft you make. Um, I made a fairy one time in Fairy Garden Fun, and we did awesome. And Mommy asked me what items we need. We need scissors, pens, and markers, cream. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. If you're wondering what this thing is, it's just a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Are they magnets? Magnetic yeah, bracelet. Yeah, they're magnets. You can build whatever you want to be on this. So they're, so they're called magnetformers. So yeah, they're magnets. Um, so you can build like three D objects, basically. Did a lot of people work with you? Yes, a lot, a lot of people work with me because we build helicopters. With the same um, helmets on. Oh, yeah, right. some of them have to wear helmets because the equipment is so big because the parts are so hard to make and they're made of thick, heavy material, so they have to be safe and they have to wear hard hats. Hard hats. I thought I was on builder stretch and things. When they build houses, yeah. they have to protect them heads so they won't throw it on their heads and they'll be, ow, oh, ow, oh, oh, the hospital. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you should wear the hard hats, and your mommy said wear the hard hats. Now you all hurt. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, let me grab my helicopter. You have a helicopter. You see that thing that you're twirling around with your fingers? Yeah, yeah. That's called the main rotor hub. Main rotor hub. Don't worry about yeah. That. And the reason why it spins around is because the air lifts the air the uh, the helicopter up off the ground and we call that lift. This so is the rotor quick. is a very important part of the helicopter. Air. Helps the helicopter lift off the air. Yes. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> it is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> like that! 
that before. You never heard anything like that before? <laughs> so where she works, they make those parts for the helicopter. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We design all the parts, and then we make all of the parts, and then we put them all together, and then you have a helicopter. And now it's ready to lift off the ground. And you want to know some of the cool stuff it can do? Mm. Yes. It can put out fires. It can chase down bad guys. And it can pick up really, really heavy stuff off the ground. <laughs> I never heard of that. Carrie, you always talk about and police officers. Helicopters can do those things. Isn't that amazing? Airplane. You have no. an airplane? And it has a person in it. Oh, I have one too. I have one too. And <laughs> it has its glasses so it goes up and down. See how people travel? I do help people travel. I also help the President of the United States travel. You see this? That's called a 747, also known as Air Force One. Air Force One? The the engines. Yeah. Look at it, Gary. And you know it's 747 by this bump at the top. Look, Gary. <laughs> Curious, you know when the president flies around in the plane? That's that's the plane, girl. That's a model of it. Look at it. That's it right there. It's called the 747. Look at it. 747. Who flies around in that? The president. <gasps> what is it also called, man? The bump is in the front of it. Yep. It's also known as Air Force One. Air Force One. You're in the Air Force. I am in the Air Force. It's a good association. But the president flies around in it. Here. What inspired you to become an engineer? Well, I wanted to become an engineer because my mom was an engineer. So she introduced me to it when I was little, when I was your age. And she worked with missiles. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time with missiles and I spent a lot of times with other engineers who looked like me. But I was encouraged or it helped me see that I could do this, that that was something that I could do. And so that's how I ended up here. How about you, Karis? What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be an engineer too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. We need more women. I'm not a woman. I'm a kid. <laughs> you will be. <laughs> Are you gonna be Girl engineers unite. <laughs> <laughs> so have you ever heard of Booker T. Washington and George Washington Carver? <laughs> Booker T. Washington founded the school that I went to for engineering and George Washington Carver, he discovered different ways to use the peanut to make things like soap, like deodorant, uh, things to eat. I think he even made cosmetics like lipstick and makeup with it. So those are two famous people that, that started the school that I went to for engineering. It's a historically black college. Have you ever heard of a historically black college? She probably don't recall. We talk about them, but I don't know if it's sticking yet. Yeah, yeah. They also had Tuskegee Airmen there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Tuskegee Airmen. There's a movie about the Tuskegee Airmen and they're called the Red Tails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they flew fighter jets in World War II. It was called the P-51 Mustang airplane. 
<laughs> well, what was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school was physics and astronomy. Have you ever heard of astronomy? What's astronomy? Astronomy um, is the study of, you see those planets in the solar system right there beside you? Saturn, Mercury, Earth, yep. Neptune. What is this one? Man? So in astronomy, we studied the solar system. We studied all of those planets that you're looking at right now. You studied the solar system? What is this thing? It looks like the moon. That's what I said. From what I can see. That's cool. That looks like a... That's the moon, I think. And those tiny dots look like stars. Uh, My tiny what was this thing? <laughs> that might be an asteroid. What's an asteroid? <laughs> it, it's a huge space rock. This is little. It's not huge. <laughs> the picture is little, but probably under a telescope or a microscope or something. It's big. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> uh, I can't see it. It's out of. Uh, that's Uranus. Uranus has rings. Huh? As in you and a R, a A, and a N, and a non U, and a S. Yep, and that is the planet Uranus. This is the Earth which we are in. It is. Good job. And this is the sun, which is, comes out. Correct. And this is... Neptune. Neptune. Venus. Yep. Venus. Mm-hmm. That one was Mercury. 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 What's, what is this one? <laughs> What's this one? That looks like Saturn. Saturn and its rings. Saturn and its rings. We saw and that. I believe rings. those the rings book. are made of gas and rocks. Gas ice. and rocks? And ice. Mm -hmm. and ice. Ice. Yeah. What is this? That is the planet Jupiter. Planet Jupiter? Jupiter, and Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Do you know that, Daddy? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Silly, Daddy. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You have to ask her. She says she studied the solar system. We didn't study the solar system. I studied Bible. <laughs> and Jupiter has a really big sunspot on it. Where's this? Might be the sunspot. No, it's on Jupiter. Where's Jupiter? Right here. No, right here with the J. 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 Yep. Jup. Yep. Is this mm -hmm. the spot? I don't know where the spot is, but that's the planet. Where's the spot? It may be on the other side of the, um, they may not be showing it in that picture, but it has a, they call it the eye of Jupiter. Jupiter has an eye like grown up eyes? Or the great red spot. So you may have to find a, another picture to be able to see it. We gotta look it up on Google. And there's a lot of people work with you, look like you? Unfortunately not, which is why we need more, more kids like Karis to come into the STEM field so that there are more people that look like us <laughs> in engineering. 
That's because you're four. That's you're saying you're that because you're four. But when <laughs> you turn <laughs> 16 or 16, you you're not going to say that anymore. Not even going to be stuck. <laughs> as, as the old folks used to say in the South, you ain't going to be studying us. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most important thing about your job? The most important thing about my job is to be sure that whoever travels in our helicopters and our airplanes, that they make it home safely to their families. So when you take an airplane ride and you go to Disney World or you go to the beach, the most important part of my job is to make sure that you make it back home from those destinations as safely as possible. That's incredible! <laughs> What's the most challenging thing about your job? The most challenging thing about my job is that it is thought-provoking work. So you do a lot of thinking. You have to be very innovative. You have to be very creative. It's a, it's a unique challenge, but I enjoy it. It's a, it's a great challenge. It's a fun challenge. I'm solving. Is it a lot of problem solving? There's a lot of problem solving. There's a lot of... Um, you could call it educated guessing. There's a lot of experiments that you have to do, science problems. Um, you have to you have to design things and then break them. You like you like breaking stuff. I like breaking. You like breaking things. I like rolling my ball on cups, but that's not cool. furniture. <laughs> I like to jump on our furniture. <laughs> <laughs> you work with astronauts? Sometimes we do work with astronauts because we have to be sure that the vessel that they're flying in can withstand the elements in deep space because the atmosphere and the stratosphere is really, really hot. So you have to be sure that the space shuttle can make it through that without exploding. But, so the equipment you made protects the astronaut. So that requires a lot of experimentation. It requires a lot of thinking and a lot of design work to be sure that we've tested it in a way that it can withstand those elements so we can keep the astronauts safe. Well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for having me on your show. I'm honored. I truly am. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. No problem, and thank you for having me, Karis. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> well, maybe we can do this again in the future. Maybe we can do this again in the future. Do you I'll lean on that, you know. That no, it's just for when they ask you, you will, and they are for two. You can tell them. Yeah, she wants to hear about it, though. What's when the she name? is four, she can hear about the information. <laughs> <laughs> she, she won't be four. So, what do you. So, you're a rocket science, scientist. And I'm like, well, yeah, to a degree. <laughs> My degree is in rocket science. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I don't censor me. <laughs> I, I, I want editing rights. <laughs> yeah. 
if there's ever a, a, a campus that you'd want to tour is Tuskegee. Um, so many historical relics are there and they're still in place. Um, Booker T. Washington's house that he lived in is right across the street from campus. It's still the, the same way he left it when he died. <laughs> Um, and he's actually buried on campus. He and George Washington Carver both. And there's a, um, uh, also a museum on campus with all of George Washington Carver's discoveries and just a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of history on that campus. Hmm. But she says there's not a lot of people. To answer that question, she says there are not a lot of people that look like her and that work with her. She also said earlier there are not a lot of women. You do cool stuff like study the solar system or make parts for airplanes and helicopters. That's cool. Or well, I make like parts for the wings. Like I can make a wing, my very own wing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Like the pun, girl. Like the pun. Absolutely. It's best to, in, to get internships because it's hard to... Um, it's a hard field to crack if you're going in without any um, internships or at least research experience. Okay. So um, I would say internships are preferred, but it's not impossible to to um, to crack the field without internships. And but um, I mean, I, I typically I get positive responses, and um, it's a conversation starter. Okay. Mm-hmm. 